Welcome to Mixed Media Creations with me, Creative Katie, Karen Birchall. Follow me on Instagram, www.instagram.com backslash Creative Katie. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also, share my channel with your friends. Today we have a craft tip or craft hack video, Harvesting Corrugated Cardboard. In a recent video, I created an ATC using cor corrugated cardboard in the background to, act to add texture. Uses for this product, texture plate on a gel plate, stamp with acrylic paint, glue right on the project tip for added texture like I did on the ATC, and to create embellishments. Hi everybody, Creative Katie, Karen Birchill, and today, I guess this is a craft hack video or a repurposing video where you're using the stuff that you would otherwise be throwing out. And today I'm talking about the corrugated cardboard. You know, we, we get all these boxes, they all come in this corrugated cardboard. Now, you can ha cut the big piece of it and you can actually do an art journal page on this and people do. They can cut it to iCAD size and you can do that. What I like is this texture, but in the past, all I could get was just little bits of it because when I tried to take this one layer off, inevitably it, it you know, doesn't come off and you're sitting there and you're doing this and, and quite honestly, it's not something I want to be doing. But today when I was getting a box cut up just to get to put into the recycling, I just thought to myself, you know what, I'm going to give this a try. I'm going to spend some time and see if I can troubleshoot it. And as you can see by these two large pieces, I figured out a way of getting most of that backing paper off. And it even got it on camera. But first, I'm going to show you kind of the process that I went through because I wasn't successful right away. And as you can see, this is what's typically happened to me in the past. You go to take it off, you think it's going good, but then most of it gets left on there. And it becomes this painstaking and tedious job of peeling the upper layer of this corrugated cardboard off. You can cut it with a knife, break it up a little bit, but inevitably it's it's very hard on the nails and you're not getting enough of it off. And what I would want it to do was get a huge sheet of this to use on my gel plate or, um, you know, my 8x10 gel plate. So you can see the frustration here and quite honestly, I don't have the time to do that, which is why I haven't done it. I've given up in the past. Now I thought, okay, if you use smaller pieces, uh, you know, are you going to be more successful? And so this is my attempt here. And, and I found, you know, I actually did get a greater percentage of it off. And I happen to have ripped that one. So I'm thinking to myself, you know, does that make a difference? I don't mind when there's little bits there. That just adds to, to the texture. So I'm thinking, okay, I'm gonna keep, keep giving this a go, try it again, and see if I can get something that, at least most of the time, gives the right results that I can share with you. So there I'm ripping off the edges again, doing another small one, and I am once again successful doing it. So I'm thinking, okay, so at the very least I can, you know, take this cardboard and, and rip it or cut it into smaller pieces and use it. Then I'll be able to rip it up. I won't get some really long pieces and probably not going to get a big piece for my gel plate, but, you know, at least I'm halfway there. And I'll be able to use it on ATCs or on canvases. So I'm thinking, okay, ripping seems to matter. And I'm what you know, and as I'm watching this back, I'm thinking, okay, you know, I'm really being rough with this cardboard. And I think that's where the idea started that I that might be 
part of my success. Oh, but, you know, there's still an awful lot of paper, but I'm trying from the other side. You know, can you get enough of it off? Now, I've seen people also in videos that have used, you know, cut the corrugated cardboard with the top layer peeled off and use that as a back. They've cut it to the size of an ATC or they've cut it to the size of an ICAD and that becomes the substrate that they work on. With the coated gesso, it just becomes this wonderful texture addition. So this isn't so bad. And I'm thinking, you know, I'd like to get a little bit more of this off. And I'm picking it with my nails. And, you know, after a while, that's just getting underneath the nails and, and not very comfortable. So I have this, I'm not even sure what the name of the tool is. It came with my Silhouette Cameo. But, you know, I'm kind of scraping it. I'm thinking, okay, can I get an edge of here and pull this through? But I'm, and as I'm doing this, I'm thinking, if I'm doing one sheet of this and that's it, I might do it that way. But I want something that's going to be quick and easy. So I continue ripping the cardboard and seeing if I can find something that, real, you know, works most of the time. So as I'm ripping this, this, I'm bending the cardboard, and this is the breakthrough moment. And I'm because I'm thinking this came off really well here. Maybe that is key to being able to do it. Now I've kept this entire video at real time. To show you because basically I in the end I took a great big box that had an inv invisible shelf it, shelf in it and re ripped all the top layers off and I have a stack ready to go in my studio so there I'm showing you some of that wonderful texture and strip that I can just glue on to now now that I have kind of a theory as to what works I'm testing it out in true scientific fashion. So I'm ripping it and then I'm just breaking that up. And I'm thinking what happens here and why this works is if when I'm doing this, I'm breaking the bond between the glue and the top layer. And you can hear it kind of cracking when you do that. And then if you get a good feed of it, bending it back like this, and you can see exactly how I'm doing this. I am just amazed at this moment. I'm going, yes, yes, this works. Okay, it worked once. I have to get it to do it. So it's going to be reliably correct. Now, I realize that there are different cardboards and things, and it may not work for you. I'm hoping that it does. I hope you really give this a try. Because as you're going to see with a few more examples, because I had to test my theory to make sure it happened again and again. You know, ripping seemed to help and then catching those edges and just kind of peeling it back really seemed to work. So I hope you give this a try. I will make a separate video where I am going to use some of this cardboard in different ways so you can see how it's used. I just really wanted this video just to be about, you know, as I said, harvesting the corrugated cardboard. You know, and if a piece isn't going to work, you know, toss it aside and grab another piece. You, I mean, we all have access to lots of corrugated cardboard. That being said, you can go to the craft store and you can buy some corrugated cardboard. It's a lot finer than this. And I use that on my texture plate and I use that as a stamp um, on my pages as well. But now I need to find a space for my stack of corrugated cardboard. And, you know, I'm really going to start playing with it in my projects to add texture both physical and, and visual texture. But there you have it. Like once you get it going and get this 
you know, it just seems to, to roll right off. So this one would definitely is big enough for my um, 8x10 gel plate. It will cover the whole, the whole thing. So then I had all these little pieces and I went to start cleaning them up. Oh, not yet. So one more piece. Now this time I didn't rip it and I wanted to see if I could get it to remove without ripping. Because I didn't see that the ripping actually... Other than it gives you an edge right off the bat that's easier to access, it wasn't necessary. You can see, like, look at this. It just came off perfectly. So these are the papers that I pulled off. And as I was get, gathering these up to throw them away, I'm thinking to myself, hmm, I think I'm just going to keep these because I think I can use these as well in my art. I hope you find this helpful. Give me a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. Bye.